so it is Thursday. We are on our way to drop Kai off at school. I drive a minute out of my way, three blocks out of my way, just to avoid a left-hand turn out that I despise. I have realized that if I take just a few extra seconds a day, or fine, a few couple minutes out of my day to go around the things that normally stress me out, I actually have a better day. A task may take longer, but in reality, my emotions and my feelings of the actual task are better. Because I can almost get hit by a car or be cut off by some jerk doing a left-hand turn somewhere or a four-way stop, as you saw in my last vlog, and be upset about it for a good 15 minutes or sometimes half the day. Like, it'll just come back in waves. Guys, if I just take a little extra time out of my day to make a task less stressful, I am better off for it. That's my little, like, thing for you today in this vlog. So for some reason my camera wants to be a jerk and not focus today, but what I thought we would do today after we drop off a Ava, that's not Ava back there, that's Kaya. After we drop off Kaya today, we should clean my house. My house is getting disgusting, and by disgusting it's probably not disgusting, but I am a hyper active cleaner, homeowner, I don't even know how to describe myself. And so when it starts getting out of control, I start to get overwhelmed as you guys know. So I thought I would take you guys along with my cleaning day because I am going to try to attempt to take all day today. I'm not gonna work, I'm not gonna do anything else, which is probably a bad call, but I can't ignore my house anymore. Um, I'm gonna take today to clean, start from a clean slate get a house clean. But first we dropped the little one off at school. John took the other one on his way out of town to work. And then I'm also gonna maybe stop and get some coffee because I feel like I need to pre-reward myself for all the good cleaning I'm about to do. There's only 27 miles left to my tank of gas that I have, for lack thereof. <laughs> but I really want coffee. I know what some of you guys are thinking. Kelly, just go get gas. And I could just go get gas, but I hate getting gas. There are not a lot of things that I would say I am opposed to doing as like, there's not a lot of things that John could be like, oh, my wife hates doing that and never does that or whatever, like role wise in our relationship, except for one thing, two things. One being, I don't like to deal with vomit. John and I got married. We had a mutual understanding that he dealt with the vomit because I just can't of any kind with whether it be dogs, people. I just, I, that was the one crux for me when it came to going into nursing. Like I actually was going to go into nursing. <laughs> yeah, that's a different story. But anyways, that was it for me. I couldn't, I physically cannot handle vomit. Just I can't. So that that's part of the first thing. John deals with the vomit. The other thing is pumping gas. <laughs> I hate going to gas stations and having to fill my gas tank. I don't know why it's not even a hard task. I've done it since I was 16 and got my license. It was very rare when somebody else would offer to pump my gas or do or get me gas or whatever. Like I would, I get my gas. I didn't have that dad who's like, let me go fill up your gas tank for you while you're in the shower getting ready for school. Like I knew girls like that. I, that wasn't it for me. Boyfriends. <laughs> I was the only one with the car. I was the only one with money, so they weren't pumping my gas. But I just, I don't really want to go get gas if I don't have to. So I usually leave that to John. If I would have known that I had two bars left in my little like empty to full meter, I probably would have taken the other car and left this one for John. But anyways, I don't like, I don't like getting gas. And right now I have 25 miles, it says in my range. And I really want some Starbucks. I think I can get to Starbucks and back to my house though leaving ample amount of gas for John to be able to take the car to the gas station to get more gas. Um, but yeah, that is a weird thing about me is I just don't like getting my own gas. And I think there's a lot of different reasons why. If I had to like get all like Dr. Whatchamacallit on my head, who's that guy from Teen Mom? I don't know. Or Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil's a good one. I'm not trying to get all Dr. Phil on myself, but I do have some ideas of why I maybe don't like getting gas. One, 
I am a planner. I like to plan. So when I look at my tank and it's like, oh, now I have to add like a stop into the gas station, that kind of drives me insane. Also, growing up, there aren't a ton of Asians in my area. So I kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Always have. So it's not that I'm like, I think I'm beautiful or attractive or anything like that, because if you know me, you know that I kind of have a shitty self-esteem most days. But when I was younger, I got a lot of unwanted attention at gas stations. And granted, I was a bartender, so I was out at seedy hours of the night getting gas, and I probably shouldn't have been. So I would get a lot of unwanted attention, and I always felt like I was on display. And then when I was bartending, I wore some skanky clothes because, huh, mama had to make that money. Unfortunately, that was a way to make money. But yeah, I didn't like that, so that's another thing. And then I also kind of like that there's like very few things where I'm like, anti-feminist and I even that's not even anti-feminist I just kind of enjoy the fact that I have a man who goes and gets gas for me I know that sounds so stupid but it's probably the same thing as like John who is totally a feminist and is like women are awesome and women should be able to do whatever they want he loves when I bring him a sandwich you know so there are just certain things where it's like I really prefer if John would go do that than me having to go do it and gas is one of them <laughs> yeah is there something that you enjoy not doing like that. Again, there are very few things that John could go bitch to his friends about. I'm like, yeah, my wife never does that shit. I do stuff. You guys know I get stuff done. But it's the gas thing for me. I just don't want to go and get my own gas. I will, and I have, and I do. I just prefer not to. So yes, I will leave this car in the driveway when I get home with maybe <laughs> 12 miles left <laughs> to the tank. Uh, we have gas stations everywhere. It'll be fine. And honestly, I'll probably be forced to put gas in this car anyways, because sometimes, I swear to God, I think John plays chicken with me just because he knows I don't like getting gas for the cars, which yeah, I deserve that. All right, so I got a cold brew pumpkin spice whatever because it's so good. But I really wanted to try the stupid apple crisp macchiato. I see it everywhere and it was staring at me, but A, it's like a dollar more expensive, and B, I know what this is gonna taste like and it makes me happy. <sighs> and I have too much anxiety over ordering a bad cup of coffee and wasting money. Starbucks is my treat, guys. I know it sounds pathetic. I don't got money for Starbucks anymore. I'm not poor, but like, I need to conserve my money for projects and yeah, when I go to Starbucks, it's like, I'm really treating myself, even though it's $5. But here's the thing. I don't want to waste my money or my treat on something that I'm going to think tastes like ass. So I actually was in line Googling, is the new Apple Crisp Macchiato good or worth it or whatever, or that versus pumpkin cream cold brew, and there was no help on the internet. The internet was divided, and it just made my decision very, very difficult. And honestly, I should feel very lucky if that's the hardest decision I make this morning is which freaking coffee to get. Anyways, I'm headed home to clean. Yay. And I think I'm gonna get home with actually 20 miles left to my tank. So kudos for me. Maybe not. I forget how far away I am from home right now. Ah, bugger. All right, we're home. We're home. Ah. All right, so my house, like I said, is not terrible. It's just, <sighs> there's just stuff everywhere. It's just getting cluttered and I kind of took a, what is going on with my hair? I kind of took a break from organizing stuff, but continued to get stuff for like kids is back to school. And so now I need to actually buckle down and find spots for things. I do need to order some containers to keep all of the other containers in. So you guys know I like to pack my kids lunch and they all have these little systems of bento boxes. And the problem is, is when we don't use them or aren't using them, they basically just sit on the counter over there, which is not great. So yeah, I do need to do that, but I guess we'll just start working on stuff. Cause I feel like I've been procrastinating long enough. Yeah. First, we go let the doggies out because they're ringing the bell incessantly. I'm coming. Don't dig holes or chase little baby squirrels. Do you understand? 
You listen to me. There will be, hey, look at me. There will be no chasing baby squirrels. Hey, look at me. Georgie, there will be no digging holes. And you will come back in when I call you. Do you understand? Do you understand? Hey, do you? Georgie, I'm talking to you. Georgie. Georgie. Georgie, look at me. Do you understand? All right, you stay. Hey, stay. Georgie, stay. Ah, uh -uh. stay. Okay. Gosh, it's so nice out, this weather. Oh, I'm gonna go open up all the windows. Oh, oh. Alexa, turn the air conditioning off. It's off. It's off, she says. I'm gonna go open all the windows and let the fresh air in. All right, so I need to start laundry. I need to put laundry away. I need to water my plants in here. Let's see what these little jerks are doing. What are they doing? Running around, looking for the squirrel. Looking for the squirrel. clean my closet. This is going to be something I need to work on. It is gotten to be a little bit disastrous. Uh, ooh, bathroom. Mirror or bathroom window could always use. Ooh, Luna's peeing. I also need to clean my bathroom really bad. There's just so much to do and I don't want to do it. I haven't been in the kids' common room in a while. How bad is it in here? Oh, not too bad. Kai's craft area is getting a little bit out of control. But the rest of the room's actually pretty decent. Something's hiding. Something's got to be hiding somewhere, I feel like. Wyatt's favorite thing is to hide back here and eat stuff. Hmm, nothing so far. Kids' bathroom is actually not too bad, other than some towels on the ground, but I'll make the kids clean their bathroom. Girls' room, however, is a disaster. Wyatt's room's not too bad. Although he never opens his window and it dry. Oh! Is this what having a boy is like? Holy cow. There is stuff. Ugh. Is this where all of his clean clothes have been, too? Oh, there's wrappers in here. There's clothes. I asked him if he put all of his clothes away. He said yes. Do you hear that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lots of wrappers in here. Shall we see what's in here? So, I mean, it's like... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, and he's got some for later. Oh my god. I mean, I can't. I've heard of other friends having this issue with their kids where they hoard stuff and hide stuff. And I was trying to explain to Wyatt, like, you don't need to do that. I always keep the pantry stocked. Because one day he was like hiding some like cheese crackers or something and he said it was because he's afraid somebody's going to eat them because it was the last ones. And I'm like, when have I ever let the pantry go empty? So like I get it in that kind of mentality, but he knows the rules. I have very simple rules in my house. You clean up after yourself. My dogs are going nuts. You clean, out, you clean up after yourself and you freaking... Don't eat outside of the kitchen. What are my dogs freaking out about? So, my list. Oh, yeah. Just some work. 
I got a call back three other people besides you, but you're the first one. Oh. What can I do for you? Okay, well now I feel bad because I was literally just calling to complain. Oh, okay. Shit. I'm sorry. Whatever it is, I apologize. It's not your fault. I went into our son's bedroom. clothes are tucked underneath on the other side between his window and his bed. Yeah. So this whole time I've been doing laundry for the last week, he's literally just it's been... Okay, well, so not only that, but as I'm moving around his blankets to figure out, okay, There's like, iPad. no, well, I didn't get that far. Maybe there is. Not his iPad. Alligator, mermaid tail, whatever blanket. There's like eight Cliff Bar wrappers, two Cliff Bars that haven't been eaten, and a Hostess wrapper, Gushers wrapper. Why did he, when did he eat this stuff? At, I'm guessing at night. I think he's getting them at night and taking them upstairs. Yeah. Which is actually more worrisome to me. Uh, the video, removing video games is just punishment for us. I know. And it's a holiday weekend. White is 135, so I just hit seven. So once I had to pick up the kids from school yesterday, I kind of pooped out on cleaning because I had to have some conversations with Wyatt about the snacks in his room. Everything's been settled. We're good. There was no yelling on my part, which I was very proud of myself for. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. But 
Don took the day off today, it's Friday, and it's gorgeous out, it's 75 degrees, and we're out playing golf for the first time together in over a year. Um, and I'm excited about it. Actually, it's been probably just a year. I'm five months out from my knee surgery, my first knee surgery, and I'm about two months out from my second knee surgery. So, so far so good. I'm not playing very well, but I'm at least hitting the ball and moving my leg, which feels good, but it's getting a little bit tender, so I'm trying to take it easy since it's my first time out. But I am wearing my knee brace, which kind of sucks because it just is so uncomfortable, um, but it is helpful, so I'm glad that I have it. Dad's up here staring at me. I don't know. We don't usually play this golf course because we don't really like it too much. And this is part of the reason why they stack their golfers. So we're just waiting. There's like a log jam of, I think, six people. There's a foursome playing and then there's a twosome. And we're all at the same hole just waiting. And there's two people behind us waiting, so it's been fun. But it's beautiful out, so I'm just gonna appreciate it. Now where is he going? Yeah.